Not sure why your pool water is still cloudy? Can't seem to keep it clear? Well, there are a few reasons that your water is cloudy and it won't go away. Number one is that your pH or your calcium hardness is too high. Number two is that your filter needs cleaning or it's got poor water flow. Number three is that you don't have the right balance of chlorine and CYA. And number four, the way you're adding chemicals to your water is actually causing the cloudiness. So there's a lot of factors that can cloud things up, but luckily there's a straightforward fix to each of these problems. And once you solve the root of the issue, usually all it takes is a good vacuum and some clarifier. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to clear up your cloudy pool once and for all. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University. And before we get into this video, if you're new to taking care of a pool and you want more help, be sure to check out our pool care handbook. It's an easy to follow manual made specifically for new pool owners. And you can grab your copy at swimu.com book. The first step is to test your chemicals. Bad water chemistry causes the majority of cloudy water issues. And you'll wanna tackle this first before you do any other troubleshooting. So here are the chemistry levels to look out for that cause cloudy water. Number one is high levels of pH, alkalinity, or calcium hardness. When these levels are high, they can form scale on your pool surfaces and inside your plumbing. This can lead to poor filtration, bacteria growth, and yep, cloudy water. Number two is low chlorine. When there's not enough chlorine to sanitize your water, your pool becomes a breeding ground for pathogens, bacteria, and algae spores. And all of that causes cloudiness. Number three is the wrong ratio of CYA to chlorine. Cyanuric acid, or CYA, protects your chlorine from breaking down in direct sunlight. Without it, your chlorine levels quickly drop, and as we know, low chlorine causes cloudy water. At the same time, too much CYA can hinder your chlorine as well. So you wanna make sure that you have the right amount of CYA in your pool. Your CYA levels should be between 30 and 50 parts per million. If any of these levels are off, they could be causing that cloudy water. So start by adjusting your water chemistry. You wanna lower your pH and alkalinity with a pH decreaser. And if your calcium or CYA is too high, you'll need to partially drain and refill your pool with fresh water. Finally, you can try shocking your pool if your chlorine is too low. If adjusting your chemicals is confusing, you can check out our other video on how to add chemicals to your pool. But what if the chemicals are all in range and your water is still cloudy? Well, here are a few other issues to check for that might be causing that cloudy water. Number one is that your filter needs cleaning or it has a pressure problem. A dirty filter means dirty water. So cloudy water might be a sign that it's time to backwash or rinse your filter grids. If you have a sand filter and you haven't changed the sand in at least five years, it probably needs replacing. And finally, check your pressure. If it's too high or too low, it could be a sign that you have a bigger problem, like leak in the plumbing or a bad O-ring. And when your filter isn't filtering, cloudy water quickly follows. Check out our other video about troubleshooting your filter if you need more help. Number two is that you've got debris. Extra debris can cause murky water. So you wanna empty out your skimmer basket and your pump basket and skim the surface of your pool to remove any leaves and debris. Number three is that you just shocked your pool. Cloudiness after shocking is pretty common. It's caused by dead algae floating in the water. Usually the filter will pick up the dead algae spores on its own. So just run the filter for 24 hours after using chlorine shock. Number four is that maybe you're adding your chemicals in the wrong order. Pool chemicals have a domino effect on each other. So when you add them in the wrong order, it can throw everything off. And when your levels are off, cloudy water can happen. So you wanna balance your alkalinity, your pH, and your chlorine in that order. And check out our other video on adding chemicals in the right sequence if you need more help. Number five is that you've added too much of one chemical. Overdoing it with any chemical can cause things to get cloudy, even clarifier. That's right, too much clarifier, which is supposed to clear up cloudy water, can actually cause cloudy water. So always follow the dosing guidelines on your chemical packaging and retest your water between chemical doses. Number six is that you didn't add your chemicals slowly enough. Dumping chemicals quickly into the water can cause it to become cloudy. So add the chemicals slowly near the return jet in the deep end of your pool with the pump running, or walk around the pool and add it slowly around the perimeter. If you notice any chemical clumping at the bottom of your pool, brush it slowly to help it disperse and mix into the water. And if you need to add a large quantity of chemicals at one time, like three or four pounds of alkalinity increaser, consider breaking it up in smaller doses to give it time to mix in. Now, once you've troubleshooted the issues that I've just mentioned, it's time to actually clear up your cloudy pool. All you need is shock, a vacuum, and some clarifier or flocculent. 
First, you want to shock your water. This will help remove any contaminants that might be lingering and causing cloudiness. If your water is slightly green, that's a sign that you have an algae issue and you may want to handle that first. So be sure to check out our other video all about killing algae. Then use a clarifier or a flocculant. These products clump together particles so they can be removed more easily. Clarifier works for any type of pool, but it's less powerful than flocculant. On the other hand, flocculant will clear up the cloudiest of water, but you need to be able to manually vacuum it out on your filter's waste setting. So it doesn't really work for cartridge filters or if you don't have a handheld vacuum. Finally, you wanna run your filter. Hopefully you've backwashed and cleaned it like I mentioned before, but running it constantly for a day or two will help clear up any remaining cloudy water. And if you need more help, check out our pool care handbook at swimu.com book. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it, thanks again and happy swimming.